Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have here a practical garden glove problem that I've been working on. You see, I'm left-handed and so when I work in the garden with my garden gloves on, my left-hand garden glove is gets holes in it faster than my right-hand garden glove. So I looked in my garden glove pile today and I found two new garden gloves, a pair, and three right-hand garden gloves that looked like this. Well, I thought, I'll just have to throw out those extra three right-hand garden gloves and start fresh with the new ones. But I hate to do that, so I thought, what if I were to take the two best old garden gloves, right hand though they be, and reverse one of them so that the inside is on the outside and maybe that will work. So, I took one of the old ones, looks like this, and I started trying to to turn the thumb and the fingers inside out. Well, I thought I'd try the thumb first to see if the whole concept was doable or not. And it looked all right from the look of the thumb. So then when I started to do the fingers, I realized I could not poke them through in reverse way all that easily. So I found this dowel. This is a dowel that can be used in the sliding glass doors or windows of a house to prevent people from opening it on the outside. This little finishing nail here, which I may have described to you previously, is a way of removing the dowel from the window, but it has so little steel in it that it's difficult for a burglar with a magnet from the outside to lift the piece up using that magnet and remove it. So this is a very good and inexpensive way of securing the doors and windows in your house if they're sliding doors or sliding windows. And today I'm using it to see if I can poke these, these fingers all the way through without actually breaking the leather. I think maybe a gentle pressure might do it. We'll find out, I guess. There's one. Yes. Seems to be working. Now maybe I can just pull it the rest of the way through. Yes. So now I have a thumb and a finger. And here is another finger. I was working on this finger earlier. I have two more. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I figure if I press too hard, I could break through this, this very fine suede feeling leather. This is the gentlest kind of garden glove I could find. It keeps my hand protected and at the same time is very, very comfortable. I got it at one of those garden stores. They have them for men and women. They might call it kid skin as opposed to regular leather. Looks like that one worked. Maybe if I poke the other one through, then I could poke everything through at once with using my hand. Yeah, it's working. It seems to be working. Two, three, if you, I bet you do it much faster than I am. Four, and five. All right. 
Here's the story. Let's give it a try. Here's the old right hand garden glove, one of them. See they're a bit different. Still fits. And the reverse order, right hand garden glove, now retooled as a left hand garden glove. I'm having a little difficulty with the tallest finger. Not satisfied. Let's see. I did it. All right, here we go. What do you think? Well, that's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all. Keep you safe and be with you through all your days.